Hey everybody, I'm Zach with FishOceansEast.com and today we're going to talk about speckled trout fishing, uh, especially in the waters of Virginia and uh, really all up and down the East Coast. I'm going to show you uh, the gear to use and three different types of lures. Our typical setup is going to be a spinning reel with a 6'6 uh, or 7 foot medium action rod with a fast tip. Uh, we like to throw really small and lightweight lures so you need that action. I like to use 12 pound test monofilament or a super braid like Power Pro Super Slick. We're going to talk about three basic types of speckled trout fishing. You have top water fishing, suspending lures, and sinking or bottom lures. Now top water lure is going to be good when the fish are more active and the water isn't as cold. And we like to use a walk the dog lure. For your suspending baits, this is when the water gets really cold and you can twitch them and go really slow with your bait. And your bottom fishing works well at low tide or when the fish are holding in deeper water in the hotter months of the summertime or in cold water. And here we have some accessories I'm going to show you about that you can use to make fishing easier and add feather hooks or a scent to your bait. For top water lures I have a selection here of four to five inch baits. They are all walk the dog lures. What we're trying to mimic here is a mullet on top of the water, up on oyster beds, and that seems to be the trout's favorite. Uh, I like to use a lure with a lighter color, simply because you can see it better. And top water seems to really get bites early in the morning and late in the evening in low, lower light conditions and at night. So I, I like a white, white lure or something with the back on it, like this Rapala skitter walk that's all white. Trout don't seem to mind. Uh, the water clarity isn't too well in uh, some of the areas that they like. So all these all these baits get good reaction bites. We like to use suspending baits when the weather when the water gets really cold, or during the day when top water bite isn't too well up on the oyster beds. Now these lures will sink down several foot, but they won't reach the bottom and get hung up in the oyster shells. So here we have a sh savage gear. A mirror lure C17 or 17 MR, which is very popular, and a Paul Brown Fat Boy. On days when the trout can be hard to find, a sinking lure can be really good for finding the fish. Uh, we have jigs here, which can be worked on the bottom or hopped off ledges, or even thrown up in the shallows. They're very well. You want to use a very wiry hook. The trout has a very soft mouth, so you want to use a very fine wire hook. To hook them and say hooked up. Now, uh, TTR or STTR mirror lure is a sinking mirror lure. So you want to see how fast it falls. So you, if it falls a foot per second or a foot every two seconds, you want to count down based on your depth, and you can really find the fish and work these lures fast or slow in any condition. Here we have an assortment of some accessories that trout fishermen really like to use. Pro Cure Mullet Scent is a very popular scent used in this area. It is a gel that actually will stick to a hard plastic bait or a soft bait. And uh, when a trout bites, it could be the difference of the fish hanging on or letting go very fast. A lot of people also like to add feather hooks to the end of their lures. The feathers will pulsate on a twitch bait and it can the difference in a strike when a fish is really cold looks like a tail moving. VMC or Gamagatsu makes a very nice one. Fine wire, treble, hair hook, feather hook. Some people like to use snaps, a dual lock snap or a fast snap to attach their lures. It can make for days when you're trying to find what color or what lure is working, it can make it very fast to change out your lure. Speckled trout can be very frustrating to catch at times, with the largest fish often coming in the colder winter months when it's quite miserable to fish. But if you take an arsenal of these three types of lures, top water, suspending, and sinking, and you fish all the depths and find the fish, you can be very successful. Thanks for watching. I'm Zach with FishOceansEast.com.